Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I got a video request. Let me back up. I got a video request, and this subject is how to marry a rich guy without him asking you for a prenup. Well, <clears throat> if you play super stupid and dumb, they won't even think that uh, you know anything about divorce laws or blah, 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 blah. If you are um, like always into them, always worried about them, always having their best interests in mind, if you seem protective over them, um, and you play really stupid around business stuff, they're probably not going to waste their time getting any type of prenup if if they ask you to marry them okay if they've asked you to marry them and you've said yes and you just play really stupid and dumb and like really grateful and thankful for everything and stuff like that don't put emphasis emphasis too much on money um as far as you know when you talk about certain things just keep playing dumb until you get married um if they ask you for a prenup still play dumb it's like what's the prenup for like um i don't I, I don't even have a lawyer i never even hired an attorney before for anything and um i don't have money to afford a lawyer to like look over the prenup because i know that it's like i'm supposed to have a lawyer right and um just ask them all the questions and see what they tell you if there's like oh you don't need a lawyer oh da 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 but then say, okay, well, I'm just going to ask my dad or ask my um, brother or ask my uncle. Say that you're going to ask another man about it. I'll have him look at it and stuff, okay? And so then he's going to realize someone smart is going to be looking at this. So then either he'll say, well, that's fine or, oh, you know what, let me take another look at it. And, you know, maybe we don't really need one and da 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 But if he insists on you signing any type of prenup before you get married... Um, then you take your the prenup that he gives you, read through it, get like some type of attorney to read through it and make sure that you're going to be taken care of if there is a divorce because in some prenups you get money, you know, guaranteed if you are to leave. So for example, if you're leaving a man who's like worth millions and he offers you two million plus like if y'all have kids plus child support then you're set, you're taken care of, okay? If he doesn't give you anything, if it says in there, if you gain 10 pounds, you can't get no money or I can divorce you or da 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 da, y'all, you need to read in between the lines. If you read all of that stupid stuff in the prenup and you don't agree with any of it, then you just give it back to him and it's like, you know, I'm not a perfect person. I am going to make mistakes. And I don't think marrying a person, um, and them asking me to be a certain way and perfect is really my idea of love and just give it back to them. And then it's gonna make them feel guilty. It's gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's so right. She's at, this prenup is asking her to damn near be perfect and not make any mistakes and she can't even gain 10 pounds uh, unless she's you know pregnant. And there's a lot of crazy people will put this kind of stupid stuff in a prenup. Like, like, especially celebrities, they'll put like, you have to give me sex this many times a week. You got to give me two kids. You can't gain over 10 pounds and this, this and that. But if it's just a money prenup, like, you know, if, if we should ever split, you can't take half my money. You t can't take it all. No matter what, if you sign that, no matter what happens in the relationship, you're only going to get a certified specific amount that's you know said in there so if you're willing to marry somebody and only give you know and only um, expect to take what they give you then sure sign it but if you want to marry someone and see how it works out and if you do ever divorce and you do want half and blah 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 then you can't sign a prenup um, and in order to get the guy to want to marry you without the prenup, you have to just start talking about love and being about love and only love and start dating guys with, uh, like start, like start saying, well, I never dated you for your money. You know, my, my boyfriend before you was 
was an artist and we lived you know in a minimalist house just make up some crap we lived like with bare minimum and I was happy I mean you just so happen to have money and you know that you, that shouldn't be held against me as as a person you know you got to get into their psyche and then if they still say well nope my lawyer says I can't get married unless you sign this prenup then you go and make your own prenup for him to sign you go to a lawyer and you and you say you can't do this you can't do that you can't do this you can't do that um I'm going to, and then you do a counter prenup, which means whatever, whatever he has written on there that you get when you leave, you up it a little bit more. It's, it's a negotiation. Once they bring legal paperwork into it, it's a negotiation. You don't just sign it. You go back and ask for more. And basically you're already trying to divorce him before you marry him and say, you know what? <clears throat> this has really gotten me to start thinking. I think that, um. I'm going to go back to school and become a divorce attorney because these guys make a lot of money. I mean, first of all, we're not even married yet and we're already planning our divorce. So people don't even have to be married to plan a divorce these days. So lawyers, I mean, divorce attorneys get paid before, during and after marriages. So um, <clears throat> this is something I'm going to, and if he hears that you're going to go into, uh, that you're going to want to go to school to be a divorce attorney. He's going to be like, okay, what have I done? What if I created created a monster? You know, now she's going to know all the laws and loopholes and, and paperwork and uh, divorces and prenups and how to get out of contracts and marriages and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's going to get him to start thinking to change his mind, okay? So if you know the law, if you go into law as a hobby, you don't even have to do it. Just say you are. You know, I really want to start studying law. This is very interesting. So, if you're studying divorce law, there's loopholes in everything, and that's going to scare him. And he's probably going to be like, well, never mind. Okay, and if you have no other choice than to sign this prenup, I'm going to tell you all how to get out of it. But you got to set it up first, okay? First of all, when he, when he gives you the prenup, say, okay, I'm, I'm going to sign it later. I'm going to sign it later. Um, Y'all, like, buy some wine, buy some champagne, uh, drink, get drunk, or pretend you're drunk, but drink and get it all on video. Like, have a friend with you and have her recording the whole time, right? Have her recording you um, drinking, have her recording you, like, drunk, have her recording you... Um, uh, like throughout the day and then when you're like drunk you mentioned to your your fiance you know um, I thought about it and like try to sound sober you know I really thought about it but don't get this on film okay don't have her filming this it's like you know I really thought about it and I'm ready to sign the prenup right now and he'll be like okay you'll be so excited you said yes you know I'm thinking about the fact that you're drunk and then have your friend uh, filming him giving you paperwork while you're drunk with alcohol in your hand and like just start wobbling and stuff like that like you're drunk and then like when he's like showing you where to sign say like like start doing your head like this like like you don't want to because like sign language um, and body language is a lot so just start shaking your head like this and saying do I really have to sign this I really didn't want to but if you insist, you know, I mean, I really, you know, just look like you're having issues with this. Have it, have your friend videoing it or set up a phone somewhere and like video it without him knowing or have some kind of hidden camera in the spot. I don't know. Y'all get y'all's radio shack on. And so have it being filmed that you're signing your prenup under the influence because if you sign any contract, under the influence of drugs or alcohol and it looks like it's coerced it is not considered um, you know it's it's considered null and void if you have the physical evidence that you were under pressure you were under the influence of the drugs or alcohol while signing a contract it makes it null and void so if you can't get out of signing it get you some type of hidden camera get drunk before you decide to sign to decide to sign it and make sure you have 
documentation of this, the dates, uh, have the dates on the film, post it um, somewhere on YouTube under private or something, just so the date is there because you're gonna need that. Um, just make sure you cover all of you know everything and before you start before he starts filming your girlfriend or friend or you need to say is it okay if i film you right now it doesn't have to be about around the time the same time as the contract it just has to be that day so, is it okay if i film this special day that covers the whole day okay so you gotta be really smart you gotta you gotta think loopholes there's always loopholes in the law I know this, a lot of people don't, but I'm gonna tell y'all. So make sure you get everything on film, make sure you're drunk when you sign, um, make sure you, 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 you're you say, like if, when it comes down to it, if you do divorce, you don't remember even signing a contract because you were so drunk and your friend, don't, don't have it on your phone, your friend has to post it or save it and do all this and show you later. It's like, you know, I don't remember signing a contract and then my friend shows me, um, <clears throat> A video of the night that um, we were out and uh, all of a sudden I see myself writing something down and I'm not even too sure what that is I thought it, you know we were just you know signing some type of uh, credit card receipt I didn't know what I was signing uh, but get out of it like this but all contracts are null and void if you sign under the influence so make sure you get that documented okay this is a way out of it <clears throat> So I just want to tell y'all that a lot of people um, don't know that, but it's true. If you sign anything under duress or under the influence, the contract is null and void and you can't be held accountable for what you signed. Okay. So I will see y'all later. If y'all have any questions, thumbs up and ask in the comments, but a man's going to do what he's going to do. You can only try to convince him to the best of your ability with the best of your assets and then your brain put them all together and see what you come up with i never signed a prenup okay i'll see you later bye